it's been quite a challenge trying to decide on just a couple of key oils to talk about today because we are so supported in so many ways by the oils for our the stress and sleep and anxiety and these kinds of challenges. Emotions. That you and I, emotions. emotions. <laughs> oh my God. So <laughs> you and I are both really super sensitive people. You and I are both people who emotional, any type of stress can really impact us so, so significantly. So, you know, we both benefit so much from these oils. So what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about some key ones. The first oils that we're going to talk about are Home Essentials Kit oils. So those of you who are considering a Home Essentials Kit will be able to, don't, I don't want you to get overwhelmed by all the other oils that we talk about a little bit later today because um, it's really, really great to just, I personally, my, the anxiety and the stress that I experienced or experienced transformed greatly by the Home Essentials Kit. And I really... I, I could really just live with a home essentials kit and not have in, and not get any other oil for the rest of my life and still be really, really happy and completely transformed from before I had the oils in my life. So the other oils that we touch on later, they're just kind of like little bonuses. They're just kind of little extra layers, extra friends to, to bring in. So the way that I see it is kind of like the home essentials kit oils like my family they're the ones that like i can't live without i need them they're they're like my rock they're my foundation of support and then all the other oils are just like cool friends to hang out with and like extra friends and extra love and support and healing that. yeah they just kind of hang out in my life and i love it but it's not necessary like the worst thing to do when you're starting to get into the oils is to feel really overwhelmed by I've got to get 50 different oils because it's just not true it's just not true all right I think you shared in one of the other Facebook lives that you've now got all of the doTERRA oils but it took you a year or if not more than a year to collect them all so and I think that's the beauty of it because if you were to get every single one I guarantee that most people would just have them sitting on a shelf collecting dust and would just be too overwhelmed so I really totally agree with you I think that the best thing is to start off with like the home essentials kit or those top 10 oils. And then once you're feeling comfortable, um, then expanding and, and adding to your family exactly. or your cool friends. <laughs> <Totally. laughs> and also with that home essentials kit, you kind of start to get, you know, that you can say to whoever is your, whoever enrolled you into doTERRA, you're yeah. able to then, because they've kind of become like an essential oils coach for you that you're able to then say to them when you are deciding, yeah, I, I, I want to start bringing some more oils into my life and experimenting and playing with some new friends. And um, that you can then say that, that when you're trying to work out which ones might be for you, that you can say to them, oh, I really love the lavender. Okay, great. So maybe there might be some other floral ones that you might like. Or if you're really into the frankincense, then there might be some other of the more like the resins that you might really, really love. And, mm -hmm. you know, so it's easier also for us to guide you and for you to kind of have that, oh, okay, I know, like, this is the path I want to explore first. Mm -hmm. So like at first also I would... Sorry. Sorry, I was just going to say, like, that, is, that can be quite vulnerable for a lot of people to open up and share those really deep things and that, that emotion and all that kind of stuff. So I think just starting off with the, the basics, um, because we know that there's so many different ways that you can use them. And as people start to open and start to feel comfortable sharing and, and be more vulnerable, that's, the, that's when I feel is the right time to bring in those kind of blends or other oils. So, yeah. Totally with you. Definitely. Love it. Love it. So we're going to dive straight in. And um, first of all, I guess I'm just going to just touch on, um, okay, so you, well, actually, you guys know who I am because we've, I'm, we're just going to make the assumption that you've watched the other videos, <laughs> the other, um, the top 10 oils that we did with Shinanda, which was kind of like the foundation, the setup of, of, of all the training that we're doing in here. Um, so Amy, do you want to briefly introduce yourself and how um, stress or, and sleep concerns have impacted you personally in your personal life, um, but also in your, in your work as a mm -hmm. yoga teacher? Yeah, sure. 
So hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I am Amy. Um, so I am a yoga teacher, as Yvette just mentioned, and I'm also a holistic health coach. And my big, big passion in life is teaching children's yoga. Um, I'm also a mom of two girls. I've got a five and a half and a three and a half year old that keep me very busy. Um, and basically, I started using essential oils about three years ago after I'd had my second baby. And I was like, in that point where my hormones were all crazy, I was really exhausted. My first daughter, I swear, has not slept a full night in five and a half years since she's been born. Hence, I have not slept a full night, except for if I've been away on a solopreneur's retreat or <laughs> something for um, doTERRA. The only time I've ever slept through. Um, so I was basically at a point where my family and my friends were noticing I wasn't the happy bubbly person that I normally am and I was quite grouchy <laughs> and yeah my hormones were at a, an all-time low and basically a friend of mine sort of turned to me and said have you ever tried essential oils? This is on one of my down days. And I basically barked back and went, no, I haven't tried essential oils. And I had no idea. I was thinking that she was just um, suggesting that I put something nice in an oil burner and that it was going to smell pretty in my house. I had absolutely no idea what impact essential oils could have on myself, on my emotions, um, like on a physical level and that they could be used for helping to support my children as well. So it was basically me being at an all time low with my hormones, my emotions, being an exhausted mother. I was trying to successfully run a yoga studio at the time um, and trying to give, give, give to everybody else. And I wasn't doing any kind of self care or self love to, um, for myself. So I was teaching it, but I wasn't practicing it. So the oils really came in at a perfect time for me because it was at that point where I was like, if I don't start to um, nurture and care for myself, I'm not going to be able to continue giving. Like my, my bucket, my cup, everything was just empty. So, and, and slowly um, learning more and more about the oils and, and just adding little bits in like, one thing at a time it was able to like I, it, they've transformed my life they really have I there's not a day that goes by that I don't use them on myself and my children and then when I started to feel comfortable with using them myself I was like um, every time somebody would say something to me you know that whole oh my god there's an oil for that there's an oil for that I was trying to like bite my tongue and like not push anyone into anything but it just got to a point where I'm seeing so many people um, stressed and anxious and their hormones were all over the place and they weren't sleeping and they weren't breathing and I was just like I'm just gonna have to share these oils with them because they've changed my life so much and yeah I just slowly started to share one oil at a time and then like people were wanting to buy the home essentials kit and then I'd get emails and text messages from people saying, Oh my gosh, these are, they've changed my life. So that's it in like a, a really big nutshell. <laughs> yeah. And I love what you have shared with me before about that. Most people when they're coming to one of your yoga classes as a, as a mm -hmm. student, that when they fill out their, their forms that, yeah. It's their new student perfect. form. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to share? You yeah, share I do. I would love that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so basically, as a yoga teacher, the responsible thing to do is to get all your new students to fill out a new student form. And if you've been to a yoga class, you would have probably done that. Um, just so you know what, have, what injuries or illnesses or whatever is going on with people. And I think between 80 but probably closer to 90% of people that would fill in this form would put why like why they're here is some kind of stress anxiety or depression so or they're not sleeping properly and their doctors said look you need to go and you need to you need to calm down basically so they would come to yoga one one day a week which is great and they'd be like oh, i'm floating on air and i love my yoga class but then they would go home and they'd be in amongst their kids and like the 
day-to-day -day routine of all of their stuff and they wouldn't have that support, which is another reason why I absolutely love being able to introduce these oils. Um, and I think it was beautiful Carla, our beautiful Carla um, shared an Instagram post that when, and we'll probably go into this kind of thing more, when you're awake at two o'clock in the morning and you can't call up your yoga teacher or you can't call up your counselor or whoever it is that's going to help you, who can you turn to? Yeah. These oils. It's yeah. just beautiful. We're so lucky. Totally, totally. And um, I had this experience just the other night and it's so funny because we always experience these things just as we're about to teach about them. And so this was, I, on Saturday night, I had like my worst night in ages. So, um, and my backstory really, really briefly is that, um, so I've had quite severe anxiety before. Um, when I, when I really reflect, reflect on it, probably all of my life, um, especially mm. being such a sensitive kid, but, um, it really, the actual anxiety side and the panic attack side and night terrors and all sorts of things like that and insomnia and all of that really kicked in about six or seven years ago when I was diagnosed with cancer and then going through cancer treatments, which a lot of um, the treatments that I've been through, one of the major side effects that they warn you about is anxiety, depression, insomnia. In fact, most women, the majority of women on the treatment that I've been on for many years are also automatically on anti-anxiety or antidepressant wow. medication. That's just kind of part of it. I've actually been prescribed medication about three or four times in the last six years, and I ha still haven't taken any. Um, like, I've been, but I've been at that point of desperation that they've that they've gone. Yeah, like we don't know why you're not on it yet. Here, here's the prescription. Go and get it filled, and then I just didn't get it filled not that there's anything wrong with if you are at a time that, that you need that you know that that's really really important and I think there is that there are some people that that's a necessary step for them yeah. um but for me I was like oh I've got, I, I think just intuitively I knew that there was another another option for me and yeah so I would try lots of different things and I definitely found things like yoga and eating well and getting lots of exercise and the second that I felt like a panic attack was coming on that I would just get out to nature get out to the beach or even just get out to the backyard or whatever I could do but the reality and, and that was really helping me but the reality was that a lot of my panic attacks were kicking in at times that that wasn't possible sitting on a plane um, or two o'clock in the morning where it's dark and it's pretty dangerous for me to go and like, you know, go down to the beach by myself or go for, you know, go for a big walk by myself. And, um, you, all those situations, as I said, like being in a plane or being in a hotel room in the middle of the city, uh, you know, 10 stories up or, you know, things like that. So I really, the oils coming into my life, like they've changed so much in, in my life that the number one thing has been, is my anxiety and my depression and, um, you know, and this is something that I really want to work more in the future with my doctors on in really because they, when they have their conversations with me and when they talk with me about where I'm at now versus where I've been over the last seven years with my anxiety, it's, um, it's just completely changed. And, and the only thing that's changed during that time is the oils. So that's the only thing that's changed. Now, I'm not saying that oils are going to cure this for, and, and before we dive straight into the oils, and don't worry, guys, we're going to get deep into the oils and the practical ways that you can be using them. But it's really important for us to also address that, like, this isn't about a um, cure-all. This isn't about, ah, oh, you know, eat crap, never move, never do exercise, don't do counselling, don't do, you know, don't look after yourself. Just use oils and your anxiety and your depression and your, it's going to just disappear. That's not the case. It's, it's all this holistic big picture, right? Um, so, but, but for me, it was really, I was doing everything right. And that's what I was, why it was so frustrating. I was going to counsellors and I was doing energetic healing and I was, oh, all that stuff. But I was still getting this freaking anxiety and panic attacks. And um, the oils, I think, were just the missing piece of the puzzle. For me, the oils are the missing piece of the puzzle because the oils were the things that I could pull out on an aeroplane or, um, 
in the middle of the night or just like I did on Saturday night at 2 o'clock in the morning that I sat with my oils and they were the only things that got me to calm down and I was so, so grateful. And um, But it is part of the bigger picture with, you know, our diet, our exercise. And for some of us, professional support is really necessary as well. So um, I just want to make sure that that's the, you know, when cleaning up your gut and all of those other really, really important things that we need to do, um, the relationships, the people in our life, um, the work that we do, that's a really key one. The work that we do is obviously pretty much one of the most significant things as well as the relationships with the people in our life and how we're spending time with people that make us feel good or people that make us feel like shit. So, you know, it's, these are all a really, the oils won't, won't, you know, do the full job, but they will really, really support you if you are, you know, open to doing all the things. So um, let's just, I'm just going to quickly just list off because I think for some of us, sometimes we're like, we just associate stress as like, oh, being high strung, but that's not necessarily all that stress is. So other symptoms, um, moody, frustrated, flat, controlling, um, difficulty to relax, difficulty in winding down, quietening the mind, insomnia, headaches. Headaches is a really big one. Tension headaches, stress headaches, um, nausea, so the tummy issues. We're going to talk about that as well and some oils that can support you with that. Um, a low immune system. So when we're chronically stressed or we're not getting enough sleep, our immune system is severely compromised, which is really, really great that um, – We've got a future class coming up on our on immune system, but also you heard Shananda and I talk a lot about oils to support your immune system a couple of weeks ago, as well as, you know, stress can really create a really low self-esteem, a sense of unworthiness, really deep and intense emotions that that's going to be another class that we're going to have coming up about emotions and essential oils. Um, but also it was really interesting when I was researching for this, um, over the weekend and something, one of the big symptoms of stress is the feeling of loneliness, but avoiding others at the same time. Now, this is something that I experience a lot. I said, I experience this a lot, like this feeling of loneliness, but yet I avoid people and I cancel plans all the time. So that's when I, that, that's when it's the stress and also a lack of sleep will create that as well. The need to kind of pull away, but then feeling really lonely and not wanting to reach out to people. I don't know, Amy, if that's something that you experience as well. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> out. And so, yeah, the other thing, well, I was going to say communication, like it almost, um, that lack of communication comes up as well. That's a big one for me. Um, and also it can manifest in like physical pain as well. So, and inflammation and things like that. So yeah, all sorts of things. Absolutely. So how do you use the oils that we're going to go through? Um, so of course topical. So that's when it's, it's so great that you guys have watched already the foundational classes with Shananda and I, so we're not, we don't need to talk about this too much, but um, always remember the safe usage of the oils. So um, the oils that we're going to, almost every oil that we're going to, yeah, every oil that we're going to talk about, you can use topically. So whether it's aromatically dressing your body, diluted in fractionated coconut oil or a carrier oil of your choice. Um, definitely, um, I find massaging these oils, some of these oils under my feet. So really diving into the topical internal so there are a couple of oils that we'll mention like um frankincense that you might want to um be putting on underneath your or your tongue or on the roof of your mouth um lavender which you might like to be able to it is safe to use lavender as a food additive in smoothies and all sorts of things um as well as some supplements that can be supportive um, and most importantly, if you're unsure, you can't go wrong with the diffuser. So you can't go wrong with putting your oils in the diffuser that you guys know you get, you get with the Home Essentials kit. That's the safest way, the safe, absolute safest way if you're in doubt, a great way to start, particularly with kids. Um, and also, you can a lot of these oils you can put in your baths as long as you've, you've put it in, you've diluted it in some fractionated coconut oil, oil first and then put in the bath. Um, or you can even just take one of these oils to and, and put it in your hands. 
rub your hands together if it's an oil that you know is safe on your skin. And just take a big breath in. So that's another way to use a lot of the oils that we're going to talk about. Okay, so, and, and lots of other ways as well, but I'm sure they'll come up as we go. So let's get started with a home essentials kit oil, frankincense. Amy, would you like to share how you use frankincense? Yourself well, or your literally, family. yeah, literally just before we jumped on, I put a drop of it in my hand, just as you demonstrated before, and rubbed it together and then cupped it up to my nose and my mouth um, and just took some big deep breaths in. And and this instantly calms and grounds me. Do you remember at convention when that lady Liz was talking and that and she was sharing about that little boy and how he was very um, emotional and everything and she was teaching a little class and he was racing around and racing around and then he smelt frankincense and then later on um, later on he was like you know that oil and trying to describe it the one that changed my brain the one that changed my brain and calmed him down and he was like five years old or something like so young but he and and that is exactly what it does to me as soon as I breathe that in it just goes straight up to my brain and it just calms and balances everything in my brain so that's certainly one way that I, I use it and I also constantly have it in the diffuser he he is always in the diffuser with something but also what and I also do my aromatic dressing which we'll probably go into a little bit later but a really big thing for me is I actually mix um, uh, frankincense and fractionated coconut oil and easier another um, oil that we're going to be speaking about today and pretty much every single day particularly in the last couple of months because my um, emotions and anxiety have been quite uh, heightened um i've been using it on, like topically on my chest like literally all over my chest and underneath my boobs and all that kind of stuff and and i feel like i can breathe and also i've had lots of um chest chesty kind of stuff i've got a very very weak um chest like lungs and everything so i'm constantly having to um monitor and support that so having the frankincense and the easier which we will talk about later on my chest really really helps me to breathe and just calm and and grounds me so that's i mean i use him so many different ways but yeah, yeah that's probably a daily must have to do that yeah and the cool thing is that as you're doing that, frankincense is doubling up as a beauty elixir as well. So wherever you're putting him on your body, it's not only is he supporting you with soothing your stress or anxiety, but frankincense is also doing a beautiful job on your skin as well. Like mm -hmm. that's what frankincense yep. is doing, which is incredible. So frankincense comes from a resin deep within the tree. Um, this one comes from Somalia and it's, He's just so when you think about that, frankincense has been used since like the 14th century to ward off evil spirits and um, really like I, I just and so grounding and just so I just feel so centered and just grounded and like all the bad shit, all the evil shit, all the toxic shit that's like either in my mind or trying to come at me or it just dissolves it just dissolves and i just go into a state of connection and faith and just belief in that i'm looked after that i'm divinely supported and that there is so many amazing beautiful powers much more powerful than me with me supporting me and i just he's just so supportive in that way if I am feeling anxious, one of the first things that I can do is, yes, cup, do the cup, or grab some fractionated coconut oil and give myself a foot massage with frankincense, and I'll feel instantly, like, just grounded <sighs> and just, yeah, deeply, deeply supported. So um, let's move on to the next one, lavender, also a home essentials Before oil. Before you do that, do you want to talk yeah. about um, the internal uh, use of how you use frankincense internally? 
Yeah. So I use Franken. So this is a personal um, decision that I have made through my own research that if you go on to PubMed and do some research on um, the studies that have been done with frankincense and cancer and anxiety and pretty much everything, everything. that, you know, like inflammation, like yeah, autoimmune, everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredible. Um, so I have made the decision that I have a drop of frankincense, um, straight frankincense under my tongue or on the roof of my mouth every day. I usually rotate it around. Some people do it twice a day. I just do it once a day. Um, and I just find that my brain works better. Mm. The fogginess, the glugginess, the, whether it's like overwhelm or whether it's, um, shitty emotions, shitty stuff that's going on in my head. It just clears it. It just clears it. Um, and I also know what it's doing for my immune system and my inflammation and all that, all that stuff. Do so you find that it helps with tension headaches as well when you have yes. tension headaches, put it on the roof of your um, Absolutely. Mouth? Absolutely. Yeah. Which is something, yeah. which is definitely one of the biggest symptoms of my stress. If I'm getting, I, I I get a lot of headaches when, yeah, when I'm stressed and that definitely helps me. Have you found that? Do you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. And particularly like hormonal as well. Like when you, when I'm on the lead up for my moon cycle and everything's like hormonal and emotional and then the headaches start and there's like very rarely, well, there was nothing that I was able to do about it except go to bed and try and sleep and like just have a pillow on my head and have everything really dark. That was the only thing that used to support me. And now by doing that um, and pressing frankincense to the top of my mouth, like, yeah, it yeah. helps so, so much. Incredible. And it's something that, you know, if you're pregnant or if you have complicated health concerns, then you want to make sure that you're talking with your doctors and your naturopaths and everyone that needs to, that you need to, you know, do that research with. Um, but mine are very, very comfortable with it because mine right now are just like, just keep, they just keep saying to me, just keep doing what, what you're doing because everything is just, yeah, awesome. All right, let's go to Lavender. Oh, she's so beautiful. So if you are watching this and you haven't smelt doTERRA lavender, I assure you that she's the most you beautiful lavender. You haven't smelt lavender until Yeah, exactly. Like, she just doesn't smell like any other lavender. She's so unique and beautiful. I was so prejudgmental towards lavender before I smelt her. I was like, I'm not going to like this lavender because I was so used to all the synthetic, like, my nan used to make those pop puree dolls that used to go in the toilet and, like, um, all the fake sort of synthetic cleaning lavenders and stuff like that. I was so judgmental. I was like, I'm not going to be able to use the lavender and just so snobby about it. And then I smelt it and I was like, oh my gosh, it yeah. smells like a lavender field. Yeah. So, And she's just so calming and so, and really uh, kind of like really safe and versatile. So you've heard Chandra and I talk about the millions of things that you can do with lavender from bites and skin concerns and all sorts of things. But we're not going to talk about any of that right now. We're just going to talk about the sleep and the stress soothing that lavender does. I mean, there is, I don't think there is anything more beautiful than a la doTERRA lavender oil bath. Oh my God. If, yeah. My girls um, have lavender and frankincense, if not, if, if not both, always lavender in the bath every single day with the fractionated yeah. coconut oil or yeah. the Dr. Bronner's soap every single day. And after yeah. school, it's one of the only things that calm them down after they're crazy, crazy. Yes, 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 I know, totally. Um, so just absolutely beautiful. And if you really want a, a stunning smell in the diffuser at night particularly at well any time during the day really but at night put lavender and frankincense together in your diffuser just such a beautiful combination such a beautiful combination so um you know even if you only have a home essentials kit you will be fine with these two oils you'll be fine with these two oils so that's you know everything else we're going to talk about now is just um, bonus. It's just extra. Mm. Um, so frankincense and lavender. So frankincense to me is really, is really grounding. Lavender is really calming. 
Um, but you might be someone that when you're stressed, that, you know, that one of the biggest challenges you have is that you actually start feeling really flat and really down and really dark and really unmotivated. Um, so we want to then look, you know, towards like a more citrus for you. You know, we want to look towards lifting you, lifting your spirits, lifting your heart, lifting your mood, lifting your brain. Um, so citrus can be really, really beneficial for you. So one of the oils that is in is so simple because we're just going to, I really want to make sure you guys know how simple this can be. Another home essentials oil is the lemon oil that yes, can be used for a million things from cleaning to smoothies to raw cheesecakes to everything. But most importantly, you can use lemon as a, in a diffuser as a beautiful uplifter. Just restarting, you know, when you're in that really dark phase and you need some light. Mm. Lemon is there for you. You know, lemon is a, a perfect oil to be diffusing and really uplifting, as well as some of the other citrus oils like a wild orange, you know, like these and these guys, these are such cheap, like cheap, well, affordable oils. You know, there's 250 drops for like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something, you know, it's, it's just crazy. I just how beautiful and uplifting those oils are. And I want to go into two of Amy's favorites and let her take over this conversation. Easy Air. So let's talk about Easy Air or Breathe if you're in America, mm. which is just the, the US name. So, the same thing. so Easy Air is a blend peppermint, eucalyptus, rosemary, a bunch of other amazing things. And I'm going to leave it to, uh, I want Amy to talk about how she uses it and how she recommends people with anxiety, stress and anxiety use it. Hmm. So, you know how before you just said about if you have lavender and frankincense, like you, you're fine, everything will be okay. For me, yes, definitely. And if I wanted one added extra bonus oil, if I could take these three to a deserted island, these three would probably be the ones that would come with me. And the reason I would take Easy Air is because this has really saved me so many times when I was about to have a panic attack. Um, and the reason I'm so passionate about this is being a yoga teacher, as we've already discussed, there's so many people in our world, in our society that are suffering from anxiety and stress and depression. And if we strip it all back, strip it all back, what is the main cause? Like there's a lot of causes, but for me, it's because people are not breathing deeply enough. We've forgotten how to breathe, which is why doctors and counselors are sending people to yoga constantly, constantly, and trying to get people to meditate and all these kind of things. And sometimes that can be challenging to even when you're having these panic attacks and you like scheduled for a 6.30 class, you don't want to necessarily go. So for me, the Easy Air has just, it's, it's that reminder and it's my anchor of, okay, Amy, you're getting into your head, you're not grounded and you're not remembering to breathe. So if I mix this, as I said before, with frankincense and fractionated coconut oil all over my chest, it just opens up all the airways and it allows me to breathe instead of just this constant like... I, I didn't share at the start, but I have had panic attacks and severe anxiety myself my whole life and depression. And it's, that's why I got into um, yoga in the first place. And it's, all, it's also why I brought essential oils into my life. I've had so many panic attacks in my life that I was taken to hospital because I wasn't breathing and, and I didn't have that anchor. I didn't have that reminder. It makes me emotional because I'm so passionate about it. And if we just all remember and learn how to breathe properly into our diaphragm, bringing that breath all the way down. And for me, that's what Easy Air does. It reminds me to simply breathe and everything is going to be okay. So yeah, that's, oh, and also, as you so mentioned beautiful. before, 
with um, when you're going outside and that isn't like getting out in nature, whether it be the beach or into the, the bush or wherever, I find if I just put a little bit of easy air literally on my nose and it just opens everything up, I'm not a runner whatsoever. I've, I've done little bits of running. But when I put this on my nose and I'm in that mood where I'm just in my head and I need to ground and I get out in nature, if I put this on my nose and I'm starting to walk, it's almost like I feel like I can run because I'm breathing so, so mm. deeply. So, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's Absolutely. as I said, if I'm, if I'm sent off to an island, it's got to come with me, one of my top three oils. Yeah. And I, um, it's so interesting that I only realized through us boxering over the weekend about this, that I use easy air for so many things, mm -hmm. including grief and all sorts of things that I've been through, um, over the last year, but I haven't really been using easy air for, um, anxiety or, you know, anything like that, because I was worried about, because peppermint I find really um, stimulating. Mm. Peppermint I find really stimulating. So um, I do want to mention here that if you are someone that is like midway, like if you're ever in midway in a panic attack, pe a peppermint, unless you've, you've used it a lot before, any peppermint oil might not be the first one for you to go to because it, it can be really stimulating. So if you're actually... Um, getting a little bit anxious because you're overstimulated, then a peppermint might not be a great thing. But here's the thing. Once I started putting it all together that, yeah, but Easy Air, um, like following our conversations, Amy, over the last couple of days, I was like, yeah, but Easy Air isn't just peppermint. It's got all of these other oils mm -hmm. that, you know, and that, yeah, why do, what's the first thing that I do when I'm stressed or when I can feel that I'm starting to get anxious is yes, I close up my breathing and I, even my posture, everything just gets really like, uh, fuck. Like that's what, you know, that's how I look when I'm stressed mm. and anxious, you know? Um, and so, yeah, but anyway, but yesterday when I was, um, on my way to yoga, um, and I was just about to leave to go to yoga and I was thinking about what you'd said and I rolled heaps of easy air on my chest and I could feel, feel when I was there I could just feel the difference and mm. I was like this is so freaking awesome um and just the yeah just that beautiful big breathing so um you'll have to do yeah. it when you go for your walks and your podcasts of the morning as well start with yes. the yeah definitely definitely um so another oil that we'll just mention quickly if one of the symptoms that you have with stress or anxiety is tummy troubles, which I know can happen to a lot of people, whether it be um, their, digest their digestion just stops or they feel nauseous, like they're going to vomit or they, they get constipated or they get diarrhea um, mm -hmm. or they get any of those kinds of things that um, like the nervous poos or anything like that, if they are, you know, really, really um, getting themselves really worked out, I I'd assume that this is definitely the case for children as well. Mm -hmm um is that you know and we, we that that thing that we hear a lot like oh i'm so nervous i feel sick or i'm so anxious i feel sick and um one of the greatest things that you can do also from the home essentials kit is the digest sand you heard shenanda and i talk about um how incredibly supportive digest sand is for your digestion for your tummy to do those beautiful tummy massages and tummy rubs with the diluted digest sand but you know, really going to digest then as an oil to support you in doing those tummy rubs or, or your children, if they're like, oh, I feel sick and it's because they're about to go to school or they're about to do something that they're nervous about, um, that digest then could be something to consider for that. And I find even just the smell of digest then can calm down my, those nauseous um, nerves like that kind of, and definitely is a great one for travel. Like if I'm, I mentioned that sometimes my panic attacks can kick in um, when I'm on a plane or somewhere like that. And digest then can be a great one because it's also going to soothe the tummy if it's like really bumpy. And that's one of the reasons that you're getting a bit anxious. Um, mm -hmm. If you're feeling physically out of control, then um, 
digest thing could be a really, really amazing one. Do you have anything to share on that, Amy? I, I was just going to say, because it's almost got that warmth, like it warms your belly. It's, it's like, you know, for me, when I was a child, like, um, and if I was feeling unwell or like stressed or I didn't want to go to school or whatever, like I remember my mum used to bring me like a hot water bottle and give me my dressing gown. It's just that comfort. So having that on my belly, it, it just brings back that memory of that warmth in my belly and where the womb is. And it just, it's just that comfort. But as you said, and then going on that sort of more physical level, my, um, my eldest daughter, <sighs> <laughs> so overshare but yeah she's she's got a lot of gut stuff going on um and yeah constantly and she's very emotional and she's a deep thinker and she stresses about things and that manifests into um gut stuff going on so i'm constantly using like a, a diluted i use the touch um digest then on her belly and if i don't use it i, I really notice a difference so it like to start with and this is why i use the touch um, because it's pre-diluted and I know it's safe on her. Um, like she was, she had to get used to that sensation because it is quite warming. Um, but now she's like, mommy, I think I need the, the digest, like she doesn't say digest in the belly um, oil. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful that we can start to educate our children from such a young age on how to nurture and care for their bodies. So, yeah. Yeah. And just to remind you guys as well, if you haven't, um, if you don't yet have the oils, the smell of digest sand is that like um, black jelly beans, black tambuca, like that kind of anise kind of smell. Because um, it's got everything that we know that is good for the gut, such so like with ginger root, peppermint, caraway seed, coriander seed, anise seed, tarragon, and fennel seed oil. So all the things that we know are so good for our gut. And, you know, I think also as a preventative as well, because one of the things that the research does say, not oil specific research, just all the scientific research now is that our mental health is starting in our gut. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've got yeah. to remember that the more that we, if you are someone like me who does experience or, or has previously experienced a lot of that anxiety and, and stress and, and depression and mental health challenges, then um, really supporting ourselves with that. I mean, I probably give myself a digest zen belly rub three, four, sometimes five times a week just out of like, oh, I feel like I need one. I just feel like I need, I need one. And um, almost as a preventative, but also just I always notice how good I feel, particularly the next day. So this mm. is the thing. I think sometimes, like, we shouldn't be just waiting for a tummy ache to then use it. I think that using it all the time, well, not really all the time, but, but once a day or every couple of days, just for that tummy rub will really help support us just move through move our gut through whatever is going on, particularly, um, so not just like the physical stuff, like what we're eating, but also the emotional and mental stuff we're experiencing. If you're someone that is going through a lot of growth, personal growth in your life right now, or even personal pain in your life right now, just you really want to be helping all of that move through your body. Um, you know, so obviously not just with the oils, but, you know, with massage and yoga and, sweating let's sort of go and do things you know go for big walks or go into the sauna or whatever you can to like get it out of your body like so we're not just holding the stuff there and i think the oils digest and plus many others but definitely digest and help us to really start to just get shit moving and out of our body because it's like the storing of all that stuff the toxic the toxicity whether it's like something that we ate that we maybe shouldn't have or drank that we shouldn't have or whether it's like something that was said to us or something that was said about us or something, you know, or something we've been saying to ourselves, like we've really got to move that. I think that, that all that stuff being stagnant is what is obviously always going to make us sick and make us anxious and wake us up at night and, you know, all that stuff. So anyway, that was 
bit different topic. But... I was also going to say um, digesting and like a drop of lavender with that massage is really beautiful as well. Adding the and even frankincense together. Yeah. Yeah. It just adds even more. Yes. Like it's incredible. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, gee, I'm obsessed with lavender and frankincense. I use yeah, them with everything. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So good. So good. Um, I was at, well, one of the things I was going to say is that sometimes if I feel like I'm going to really need it, if I've just eaten something I shouldn't have, I will add lemon to my digestion tummy massage. And I mm. really love it. But I won't do that at night because something about lemon at night can really wake me up. Lemon has yeah, me too. a really strong impact on me, which is why it's so beautiful during the day when I need to lift my spirit. It's really like lifting my spirit kind of oil. Okay, now the complete opposite oil, vetiver. So this is not one of the Home Essentials kit, but this is one that we can help you, help you get. The person that um, invited you into this group can help you get this oil from our... Um, Melbourne head office. Vetiver is the, it's, it's talked about as the ultimate um, sedative oil. Vetiver comes from the roots of the tree in Haiti. So as you know, we um, indigenously source doTERRA oils from where they naturally grow and we partner with, with those communities. Um, Vetiver, oh my gosh, just makes me just want to lie on the floor and just sleep. I actually, <laughs> so vetiver I use at night a lot and I um, just calms me and grounds me so much. I know that vetiver, there's been a lot of studies um, of vetiver being used with kids with ADHD and but here's the thing that's so funny. I can't use vetiver at all during the day because I It'll just make you want to lay on the floor and go to sleep. But that's exactly why she is so good for me at night. Because the second, it's like the second that I smell a bit of art, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I'm out now. Um, really strong. You don't need much. I've used vetiver so much the past year. And this is still my first bottle. And it's not even halfway. I don't understand how that's possible. Um, do you have any vetiver stories that you want to share, Amy? Yes. First of all, I just want to show you. So vetiver is a, it's a thicker oil. So sometimes, especially like in the cooler months, it's quite hard to get out. So if you're trying to put it in the diffuser, you might be like trying to get it for ages. So I've got this little, um, I don't even know what it's called, but you know, like you can just see that it's quite thick in there. Yeah. So yeah, I love that. Um, and also, if you are, if you don't have that and you're wanting to warm it up so it comes out a bit faster, you can put it in your bra and um, and it warms it up a little bit and it comes out a little bit easier. Um, but vetiver, I basically use it as my secret weapon. That's my secret weapon oil. When, um, like for full moons, my kids are yeah. just, my eldest is just, she's a Cancerian like me and just, wide awake screaming feeling all the things and it's just like oh my god i'm not gonna get any sleep vetiver is my secret weapon and i massage it in the on the bottom of her feet or have it in the diffuser and like when i'm teaching children's yoga another thing that i'm really super passionate about is working with children with additional needs and once again like as you um as you just said before like there's been a lot of study and a lot of um, research and it, it really is helping children with additional needs calm down and it, it's known as nature's sleeping pill. So it's definitely a go-to for me or the blends or stuff that it, like frankincense and lavender are like a everyday like, but when I, I use vetiver, I kind of say that, as I said, it's my secret weapon. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's um, and for myself uh, as well. Yes, I love what Suzanne's saying about vetiver is so earthy. Really, to me, oh. that's how I, I feel like I'm in the roots of the tree. With the yeah, vetiver. for sure. It's so, <laughs> when I first wow. smelled it, I was like, oh my god, like it took me a little while to get yeah. used to it. Yeah, but totally. yeah, it's so I love it now. Yeah, so I'm really mindful of um time now but we will just touch on a couple so really guys they they're they're your core oils right mm. the for sleep for stress relief for anxiety relief we will just touch on a couple of blends and a couple of other specific oils just just quickly 
um, particularly some oils that we'll talk more about in an emotions and essential oils class coming up. But I do want to mention if you or your children experience or your partner or friends experience night terrors, um, really heavy night anxiety, nightmares, an oil that you must get is juniper berry. So there's a lot of research, I won't go into it now, but there's a lot of research about juniper berry. And I will say that juniper berry has entirely changed my relationship with the night, when, which as it used to be the time that I was the most anxious and had the most panic attacks. And now that is complete, and a little bit of night terror as well. And that has completely changed thanks to juniper berry. I will not sleep anywhere, whether it's my house, whether it's a friend's place, whether it's a hotel room without juniper berry by my side. Um, so I, you know, obviously juniper berry is in my night diffuser blends, but also if I do wake up in the middle of the night in some form of terror or anxiety or panic attack, I will just like in the dark, grab my juniper berry and just smell. And I, it's completely transformed that part of my life, which used to be one of the most challenging parts of my life. So um, juniper berry is definitely for you if you or someone you love experiences that and it just comes with this beautiful little bottle. You don't need very much of it. Um, something, uh, and we'll just quickly touch on if your anxiety or uh, depression is really hormonal based, if it's because you are um, going through PMS or, um, you know, complex hormones or menopause, then Clary Calm is definitely... Um, a beautiful blend, which will really support you. You can just use her as a perfume and she will support you. She's got clary sage, lavender, all the oils that we know that help support and balance your hormones. So um, clary calm is going to be absolutely beautiful for you in that way. Um, so, And so when I say if it's because of your hormones, so you might use this, Use Clary, Clary, Clary Calm during the day as a perfume. Keep, keep her in your handbag um, to b help balance your hormones. And then you can be using the other oils as well as extra a, a, as support too. Um, now, I will mention Salubel because Salubel does have... So, yes, it's the beauty blend. Everyone talks about it's the beauty blend. But for me, it's more about it's a meditation blend. It's a really calming blend. It's got a lot of the oils that we've spoken about. Frankincense, sandalwood, which is another one that's in my night my night diffuser. Frankincense, sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. Rose is an oil that we're going to talk a lot more about in the emotions and essential oils class. Definitely one was one that Amy really wanted to mention in this class. Do you want to touch on really quickly why that is? Ah. Uh... She is just like, I mean, I, I, before I smelt Rose, I felt a connection to Rose. Like when, um, I think, uh, I think the first experience that I had with Rose, not actually in person, but it was when Shananda did, um, her video on connecting with the angels and she was speaking about Rose. And in that video, I was like, Oh my gosh, I love Rose. And she was actually speaking about, um, Rose within the Salubel blend. And then from that moment, I just connected with her. So she's such a high vibing oil and it's just that she, reconnects us back to love and the fact that she's mm. really great for immune system and um like antiviral and all that kind of stuff it's just an added bonus but just the fact like for me i really truly believe if we all return back to our heart and we all return back to love the world is going to be a much much different place and it's going to be so beautiful and that rose oil is just one way for me to get out of my head and return back to my heart. And it's the same for my girls. My girls know that if they're feeling emotional and stressed that, oh, mummy, I think it's time for rose oil. Like, and they know, yeah. they put it on their heart and it's just beautiful, so. Very beautiful. Um, some other, and I can't wait for us to talk more about that in a, in a future class. Some other oils that you might wanna consider if you would like some blends that will really support you balance lavender piece which is called serenity in the u.s so these are really really powerful beautiful blends that you can be using 
person who invited you in this group can talk more about how to get those. Of course, the Peace Roller as well, which mm. is really, really Vetiver heavy. So we, when we spoke about Vetiver before, if you'd like to maybe just try to bring you a little bit of Vetiver in your life, the Peace Peace Blend, particularly the Roller, because you can just carry her in your in your bag. Um, but I also want to mention as well that because we spoke about the holistic approach. So the other two things that have really, well, I should say four things, but two things that have really, really helped me in the holistic big picture of my, um, you know, stress soothing and sleep is during the day taking the LLV tablets. So these really support me so much. There is a vegan version available as well as the non-vegan version that has the um, high quality fish oil in there. Um, so I take them during the day and then at night I have serenity, the serenity tablets that are available in the US warehouse. Um, so I always just save up my points and get these for free. Um, these are incredible and they do have a um, safe amount of lavender in there um, for you to be um, having at night as well as passion flower, German chamomile and a few other things that are, you know, really, really supportive for us, for our sleep. Um, before we wrap up, was there any last thing that you wanted to mention, Amy, or did you guys have any questions? Uh, I was just going to say about the um, LLV supplements. Um, I was taking them and I was loving them and then forgot to order them on my monthly order. And that was when anxiety and stress and emotions. And I mean, there was other stuff going on. There was a lot of stuff going on in my life. So it, there was a lot, yeah, as I said, a lot. But the fact that I didn't have those supporting me, I was just like, it, it's too much of a coincidence. So yeah, definitely. I find I haven't tried the Serenity tablets. Um, I'm definitely keen to. I've got some points to spend, so I might have to um, do a US order. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, the it's just that overall support with the supplements. So um, I think there's one of our beautiful naturopaths is going to do um, a video on the yeah. supplements. So yeah, she will probably be able to share a lot more scientific stuff, which is not my strength um, with everyone. But yeah, I just love the way the supplements make me feel. And it's just, as you said, that overall holistic approach to things. So definitely yeah. love them. Awesome. And I love that Tanya has asked about Kapaiba. Um, Kapaiba. Yeah. And I definitely, so was here ready to mention before. Um, and I have, I have Kapaiba, Kapaiba um, <laughs> under my tongue as well with the frankincense. We were just trying to keep it not too complicated with too many oils for today, but um, yes, absolutely an amazing addition as well. So um, there's so much more that we could talk about on this topic and we will in the future. But for now, guys, we have had you for an hour. So thank you so much for watching. Please, please make sure that you tag everyone that you know that needs to see this video. Please tag them below. And um, also don't forget that it's not too late for you to invite more people into the group. So if there's people that you know who don't yet have a doTERRA account, who aren't yet using the oils, um, please, please, please make sure they're in this group. And we can't wait to see you soon for more classes. We'll be announcing them within the next couple of days. Amy's actually going to be back with one of our other incredible yoga teachers, Angelique, um, for a special class on yoga, meditation, and meditation with the oils. So that's going to be really, really special for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was so beautiful sharing this time and space with you. So thank you so much. I think yeah. it's been helpful for people. Thank you for all your wisdom. So great. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.